Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and there is no question at all that Team Fortress was a gigantic success for Valve. Starting life earlier on, Team Fortress was a mod for Half-Life. Now it is a standalone game, one of the most popular games out there. Now this was first, how about to feel old for a second here, first released in October the 10th, 2007. Yes, Team Fortress 2 has been with us for uh, a very long time, uh, almost coming up on voting age now. Uh, and what you will see is still to this very day, Team Fortress is still in the top 50. In fact, it's 33 with active user counts. So looking at uh, peak today was 47,000 concurrent users. So definitely a popular game still in terms of Valve stuff. Obviously, Counter-Strike 2 is at the very top. And then I think this Team Fortress 2. So definitely a popular title. So why the hell are we talking about a game that was released back in 2007? Well, that is because the source code for Team Fortress 2 was just released. Yes, you head on over to teamfortress.com and you will find out that the Team Fortress 2 SDK has just arrived. So uh, mod makers rejoice. We have just released a massive update to the source SDK, adding all the Team Fortress 2 client and server game code. So this update will allow content creators to build uh, completely new games based on Team Fortress 2. We are also doing a big update to all our multiplayer back catalog source engine titles. So Team Fortress 2, uh, Day, Day of Defeat, Day, 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 I forget, uh, Half-Life 2, uh, Counter-Strike Source, and Half-Life something, something, uh, adding 64-bit binary support, a scalable HUD or HUD, uh, UI prediction fixes, and a lot of other improvements. Unlike the Steam Workshop or local content uh, mods, this SDK gives mod makers the ability to change and extend or rewrite Team Fortress 2, making anything from small tweaks to complete conversions possible. The SDK is licensed to users on a non-commercial basis, so you cannot make a commercial game out of this, uh, but meaning that any mod created using the SDK must be free and any content in those mods must be free. So Team Fortress 2 mods may be published on the Steam store and after publication will appear as new games in the Steam game list. So you can publish to Steam, uh, but you just can't make any money off of your efforts. Uh, players have a lot of investment in their Team Fortress 2 inventories and Steam Workshop contributors have created a lot of that content. The majority of items in the game now are thanks to the hard work of the Team Fortress 2 community. To respect that, we are asking Team Fortress 2 mod makers uh, continue to respect the connection and not to make mods that have the purpose of trying to profit off Workshop contributors' efforts. Uh, we're hoping that many mods will continue to allow players access their um, Team Fortress to inventory uh, it makes sense for if it makes sense for the mod so that is the announcement here this is actually part of the uh, source SDK 2013 yes again we're all feeling very old a, a, an SDK from over a decade ago for a game from 15 years ago that is still very much actively being played so if you want to go ahead and start with the source SDK they have documentation here on getting up and going depending on your particular platform uh, it is available using something called the Valve project creator um, so if you want to create a simple content-based mod see this fully compiled template over here uh, then they have step-by-step -step of walking you through how to go about doing things. Uh, and it's a, it's a pretty long and evolved process, if I'm honest. So there is the instructions for getting up and going. Obviously, you're going to need a proper development environment all set up as well uh, to make the SDK work. However, if you just want to jump in and check out the source code, well, you can do that. So basically, head on over to Valve's GitHub uh, account. So you can see Valve software uh, available here. So this is at uh, github.com forward slash Valve software. Uh, and then head on down here and what you are looking for. So this is in their uh, repositories. Uh, it's in the repository section over here. And it is called the Source SDK 2013. So here we are right now. And you're going to notice they just added Team Fortress 2 SDK to the mix. So where are you going to find Team Fortress 2 in this mess? Well, what you do is head on over to Source. And then you come in here to, I believe it was Game. Uh, and then we got Client. And then what you're going to see is TF. This is your client side game for Team Fortress. There's also server side, which I think actually will follow the same naming convention. So server, Team Fortress 2. So here is the server side component of Team Fortress 2. And here is the client side portion of Team Fortress 2, like so. And then you're gonna find, again, entirely C++ based. So if you want to uh, learn about it, everything is here. You could jump into the source code if you wish. 
So this is the easiest way to just come on in and check things out. So here is, for example, the C++ code controlling the player. Um, it very much has that uh, 2013 C++ look to it, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, it's always interesting to be able to jump in and see how other people implemented things, especially for AAA caliber games. So you can come on in here and see how um, Team Fortress 2 was created. And again, you're getting the entirety of it, the client, the server, all of the code. So what you can do uh, is, like they said, build uh, pretty much whatever you wish on it, completely new games if you wish. But again, that thing that you're going to want to know about is the requirements over here. So the licensing on it is it's licensed on a non-commercial basis, so you can create full games, and those games can be published up to Steam, but you cannot create commercial projects, and you can also not use non-open assets in your game. So uh, something to be aware of with all this, so your, I guess non-open is the wrong word, non-free assets in your game. So everything needs to be given away for free if you use this. So this is pretty much entirely for uh, mod releasers or people that are just genuinely curious about the source code. If you're wondering, over here, the source SDK license is this. So it's the source one SDK license. If you want to get into the full details of it, uh, it is listed here. The subscriber agreement is available here, and this goes way beyond what I'm going to cover. But you're going to want to note this is not an open source project. This is source code being released for a project with um, non-commercial usage. So uh, if you are a fan of Team Fortress 2 and you always had some kind of a dream game you wanted to create with it, well, now is your opportunity because the updated Source SDK now has Team Fortress 2 code in it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.